Good morning, grasshoppers. It is time for our morning daily stream. What are we trying to get up? I'm going with C3 at the moment. <clears throat> it was a test. Let's just play it the way I might normally play it. Do we wish to gambit? Or do we wish for more? That is the question. world and melt with you they seen the difference and it's getting better all the time Somehow, I knew that he might play for that. Yes, yes. We are in a spot of trouble. That much is true. Just a spot of trouble. But we are getting all of our pieces out for the pawn. That much is true. We wish to go for it. Nah, let's not get into too much trouble. In general, it's not wise to take pawns in front of. Said. Good morning, MCD. How are you? Good morning, P. Merrifield. How are you? So now, how are we going to go about this? Should we tag another pawn? 
or should we put a rook on the open file? Let's just put a rook on the open file. So we're not down any material. We just have atrocious pawn structure, but we do have two center pawns. Having two center pawns makes up for a lot, no matter how weak they are. Well, remember, Southern man don't need him around anyhow. And now, we'll just keep positioning ourselves. Just trying to navigate as best we can. What's going on here? Doubling rooks. What in the world? Takes, takes. Desperately trying to gambit a pawn, it seems. You promise, Lan. I say you do. No question. And now everything is hanging. Literally everything is hanging. Said, I am good. Thanks. I had a very bad Congress. I didn't win a single game, but at least one draw. The rest was losers. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Said, can I play? I'm getting into trouble. Absolutely, Pippa King. We are in the daily dojo, rapid and classical. Mm-hmm. People King 2301. Thanks for Are we threatened with losing a pawn? I think we are. It's somewhat annoying. That much is true. Takes, takes, takes. We're going to go for some simplicity. And we'll hope to draw this game. How about that? We're going to hope to draw this game. Hot blooded, check it and see. Got a fever of a hundred and three. Somehow we came out an exchange up. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Oh, I lost on time. I feel like it's Monday again. There's no way I'm at 2088. How did I get to 2088? Did I beat somebody good yesterday? I definitely lost nine rating points yesterday. How could I get back up? Let's just take a quick peek here. Right, I was 2088, lost nine. Okay, fair enough. I guess I was at 2088. Now, usually when people are playing D4 and E3, they're not aware of the fact that they can grab an advantage, an immediate advantage leading to a win. Let's see what happens here. Key and chess coach, ladies and gentlemen. He is streaming. UP King, thank you for, for, for the follow again. I am FIDE trainer and national master John MacArthur. My opponent is playing extremely conservative. It's like a one minute opening repertoire, not giving away any material. That's what the London is designed for too. The London is designed for speed. Not giving up the E5 square is relatively key. Let's see if we can entice him to expand his pawns further. Is he really going to play E5? I don't know. Is he really going to checkmate me on the H7 square? That I don't know either. And now we're going to play this like a very bad Ruy Lopez. Let's see how much Ruy Lopez theory he knows. He doesn't seem to know a lot, as it turns out. But we're going to play on the king side as well. What should we do to get this pawns moving? Well, first things first, let's see if we can take care of our bishop. First goal first. All right. Knowing what I know now about my predetermination to lose on time in a really good position, let's see if we can avoid that. Rule number one, let's get rid of his good bishop. Rule number two, let's see if we can bother him in some way. I was expecting knight to g3 on the last move. That was part of the plan of migrating your pieces to the king side. But I am giving up the white square. F5. Whoa. How am I getting all of my pieces into the game now? I do not know. What I will find. Let's see if he's willing to go the extra step and give away his uh, knight. There's some nice solid chess here, focusing on the weak point, F5, F2. Yes, that was what we were expecting. Uh, 
has been heard before. So it doesn't seem like I have to give up the bishop pair at all. As it turns out. Regrouping on our white squares. Keeping e6 protected indirectly. Trying our best, Booby. As much as I wanted to play Bishop to g5, it's going to have to wait. When we make love, it's understood. The say. Well, let's ruin the pawn structure and tag the pawn structure and see what we can do. <coughs> to win at least a pawn. Somehow I knew he might not want to trade queens. So queen d2 was off the cards. He's coming in, folks. Where he's coming into, I do not know. And now for something completely different. He's finally coming in. One more fork. He gets his rook into the seventh rank though. I don't know if I like that. We'll keep his knight a little bit restricted. How about that? We need our knight on a good square. Oh no. Well, c'est la vie. We can't take the pawn on d5 so easily. We'll come back for it later. Can we come back for it later? Are we going to be gaining time here? No. You can't be averse to trading pieces. Who did I lose to in the first round again? Varadkov. Varadkov. All right. C3 worked out so well in the first game that we're going to give it another go. Now that he's given up the E5 square... We're going to go with the old ironic London treatment. Preventing the reverse London. Oh no, not that move. That's a bummer. There's one small drawback to that. 
said, I'm threatening mate. Now we do wish to exchange more pieces at open lines. Yeah, let's exchange our dark squared bishop and open up some lines. We don't have a large squared bishop. Yeah, let's just get out of dodge first. We're not going to move our uh, bishop until And now for something completely different. We don't have to castle. Yeah, that's a bummer. He can sack a piece. He's getting it back. escaped he had queen takes g3 It's been such a long time. So am I up two pieces now? But he has three pawns for one piece. We have to step our way out of this, it seems. As much as I want to stay on the F file. Said, good morning, all. Promises, promises, good morning. Promises 2022. See how he wishes to bring it in. Can I do this? I don't know. But it does look scary. Now that has to go. I 
mean, he does have some things. What is my worst place piece? The knight? Ba-dump, 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 ba Taking my time. Taking my time. Have to prevent any funny tactics with. Prevent any tactics with the uh, queen takes up three, bishop takes up three, knight discovery checks. So I have to keep my queen on the right square. One rating point for that. Is that true? Is that all I really got? Usually you don't get any of your rating points back until the round is over. So, C3. How are we doing on C3? 26 C3s. I think I have more than that. But let's just keep working on it. Just in case anyone is wondering why I'm playing C3, it's part of my GTO. GTO possibilities. Gonna play 200 games with every first move possible. So everyone has a chance to beat me. Absolutely everyone has a chance to beat me. How much you mean to me, Franco Collar? Can't believe that I had to win that one with the London. God help me. But it is part of the process. That much is true. Again, we have an opponent who does not seem to know the advantage of space. We'll get rid of their dark squared bishop. You promised Lund. I spend my time so foolishly. That's what down to you. We'll make history. That brings out the man in me. Oh, I can't help myself. Well, if we're both going to go for it, I'm going to assume my space advantage here. Ah, so he's preventing the loss of his dark squared bishop. That's okay, I can play for the same tactic. So now... So is diving in the right move? I don't know. I do not know, honestly, if it's the right way to go. It feels like the very first time. You promised not. Let's avoid any trouble. All the dark squares are weak, though. All of those 
those dark squares are screaming out to be uh, attacked. Thank you, Shahi. Shahida. Orion Alt 1, thank you for the follow. Okay. Can I? Can I tag him in this endeavor? I don't know. I don't know. Much too slow. Whoa. That's very unusual. I do want to keep him pinned. Just in case he was thinking about moving his knight. Get up to the top of the company ladder. Hope it doesn't take too long. Now his knight is unpinned. And what is he threatening? His pieces seem a little off sides. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. So where are we headed from here? Ba -da -da How do I get all of my pieces into the game? Gotta connect our rocks before we can do anything. Competition. So check, check. He's threatening, he's threatening knight to g4 check. It's unfortunate, but I think we have to give back the pawn. It's too bad. He's getting active, folks.
Just a little fork between friends. And now we'll get that pond flying. Oh no! I just can't move fast enough. This is why we play less bullet in this, uh... Do I not have a better? Do I not have a better? What happened to the music? Do I not have a better sound alert as to being lower on time? I really do need it. YouTube music is out. Why is that? Why is YouTube music out? I might have recaptured with the queen on that move, to be honest. Our opponent should be a Karo Khan player, but let's see if he is. We're going to go with the old school. And see if he knows the plans. So far, so good. He has not demonstrated any knowledge of the standard plans in this opening. So therefore, we'll continue on our merry way. Con le tac. Yes. Just in case we get to swipe a pawn. Oh, he didn't do it. Yes, that was a good in-between move. It was indeed a good in-between move. Continuing with our plan of attack on that side of the board. Well, that's interesting. There's only one small problem here. The problem is on the back rank, my friend.
So, am I going to have a problem here? Not expecting that move. Not expecting that move at all. So is my strength really just below 2100? With C3? Maybe. Pegasus, good morning, namaste. What is up with our sound alerts? Just make sure that we're logged in before anyone requests a sound alert that doesn't work. Interesting. Let's close all of the Google Chrome inferences and see if that's it. We just need anyone to say something in the chat to test the sound, because I haven't heard the chat in a while. Hydrating up. My other water bottles and downstairs. Fortunately, I have a backup. Cheers. All right, Google Chrome seems to be working. Based on the first instance. And sound alerts did seem to be logged out. Authorize. Mm-hmm. Nicodemonius said, hello there. Good morning, Nico. Yesterday morning, DG Road, or a couple of days ago, DG Road attempted to just do it. I needed to give it to him. There was no way I could refund his... Uh, Cheers, Ron. Good morning, sir. Nicodemonius said, Am I hallucinating or are you streaming earlier than usual lately? Well, remember we had the time spring forward randomness that happened, right? So I sprang forward, which would have put me an hour earlier for two weeks on your time schedule than March 26th. You sprang forward, so we should be back to normal. Crossing my fingers. But not everyone in the world springs forward or falls behind. So I'm not sure where uh, Istanbul lies in that. But if that is the case. Oh yeah, I didn't tease. Yeah, if you didn't spring forward on March 26th, then I am streaming earlier than usual. But for much of the world, I'm back to normal. Nicodemonios said. Turkey doesn't tea change clocks times a year. That's wild. So it really messes up a lot of streamers for those in Turkey. For uh, six months, everybody gets used to it. Said, to South Country for that, I think. Long yeah, I don't know. Said, hi, everyone. Long Good morning, Lauren. Said, Hope you're redoing well. Dry and dry How is it interpreting Lauren's name so unusually? Lauren has to say something again just so I can catch that first name. That was very unusual. Good morning, Lauren. It is great to see you. LJW.
I don't know if the disembodied voice of Lauren J.W. would be willing to appear on stream, but we're continuing with C3 today. Said, I am quitting online chess and taking a break for a month or two, then I am moving to OTB. Oh, really? That's awesome, in a way. I don't necessarily know why we would quit online chess. In the lead chess, you can actually go to the classical forums. Is that bishop really on the right square? Let's just bolster our center. And expand in the center. Pair like... We planned on this happening. Lorne JV 33 said, I am quitting online chess because I struggle with paranoia in regards to cheaters. It really impacts my mental health. Interesting. So rather than, this looks like it wins a pawn. Am I winning a pawn? I don't know if I'm really winning a pawn. Or if I'm losing a bit of space. I don't really feel like you are Hmm, that's interesting. They have a chance to get it back, but maybe we have a chance to get it back. Said, basically in OTB, which I used to play as a teenager regularly, it's much harder to cheat, and well, if anyone goes to the extreme effort it takes to cheat OTB, then they care about it more than me. That they care about it more than you indeed. That much is true. But honestly, I, I don't know why I don't feel bothered by cheaters. We're going to get our points back should they get caught. Um, I don't really see the, uh, see the point in cheating, to be honest. It just seems so strange to me to be cheating. Uh-oh. Did I lose a pawn? I guess we'll find out. And the winner is... The knight needs to move. I'm asking for it here. Papa Chacha should put me away. Cheaters, don't he bother me? Honestly, I think a round of all people who play online chess cheat in some way. Not all use engines. Some use openings books. Some might have a stronger player helping him, etc. I see. I see. All I placed all master study games in a study. You can check it out and analyze. It's public in study. Walking Death 1984. So let's see here. Knight yes. takes, Bishop takes. Let's just keep it up. Keep up our developments.
Keep up the developments for Papa Cha Cha. And now, check, 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 check. Am I made it? Well, that's kind of a bummer. However, I recognize that a lot of it is just unhealthy paranoia, hence why I am quitting online chess. That's such a bizarre move to play. Check, check, check. All right, you have me here. That much is true. You took a pizza. I don't like it. Fine. Ugh, and I lost another pizza. I lost another pizza. And I'm forced to trade queens, probably. Interesting. Can I risk it? I don't know if I can risk it. Oops. I managed to survive, but what did I survive? That is the question. What did I survive? What did I actually survive? Yes, yes. What did I actually survive? Not much. In fact, Oof. <laughs> where did this game go south? I have too much stuff to do this morning. That's what's on my mind. Things that I have to do before the end of stream. So what did I actually do? Did I really play a terrible move here. So I had to play knight takes f6 check, right? So I'm plus four. Look on a to d1, knight takes d4. Oh, of course, just rook takes d4. That was very silly. Rook takes d4, knight check, moves. And what was I concerned about? This check? But I'm just going to move. And everything is hanging. Both knights are hanging. Rook takes queen. Ay, ay, ay. I think the only thing that hurts worse is knowing that I could have probably played the best move. Ah. So why don't I concern myself with cheaters? They're only cheating themselves for one thing. They're not cheating me. I'm getting a good experience no matter what. I could I could just as well be playing Magnus Carlsen. 
I should be playing a better game of chess. Said, my folks time for my morning walk. Is there any other reason why I should be concerned about cheating? Promises 2020, how are you? Thank you. Hopefully you'll lark for the raid. I appreciate it. Cheers, promises. So what is there about cheaters that we have to be bothered about? I'm still looking for it, though, Lauren. But I'm trying to address the paranoia at its at its core. Said, my perspective is that the cheating online is so rampant that you never get the points back. Ah, that is that is what we're concerned about. So if if there is a certain temperature outside and a cloud comes over, this is I I I, I think of the cheaters as a as a dark cloud or a cloud that obscures the sun. When you are a certain strength, your rating returns to that level. I guarantee you that your rating just returns to that level. Think of, think of a handicap in pool, whether you have a few bad weeks or not, you're going to have better weeks in the future, and your strength will always remain the same. Your strength cannot be hindered or dampened by any other factor other than the fact that you insist on playing poorly. So therefore, if for whatever reason you think that you're not going to get the rating points back, it's out of an insecurity that you are not actually your strength. Let's just imagine that you believe you're going to lose rating points if you continue to play. But in reality, you're not losing any rating points. Your rating remains the same regardless, absolutely regardless of the outside influence or factors. Let's take this game or any other game that I lose on time because I don't move too fast. I could concern myself that because I'm playing a fast time control, I'm never going to get those points back. But in reality, I know that my rating will return to whatever level it's going to be at because that's just the strength that I'm at. There's absolutely no reason for me to think that I'm not going to get my points back unless I truly don't believe that I am at that strength level. So there's no reason for you to fear for any reason that you're not going to get your points back. So what would be the next reason? Basically, the cheaters get caught. They have to open up a new account. They constantly live a lie. They have no representation of their true self. And you, on the other hand, are merrily just playing chess because you enjoy it, but for the pure, unadulterated joy of playing chess. Lauren JV33 said, I see what you re saying, but I like it to agreeing to play football in a league of robots. Okay. You really feel like the entire league is full of robots. Now, this is true on the other server. I agree. That's how I feel on the other server. I feel like I am never actually going to get my rating to where it needs to be on the other server because I do believe that it is a league of robots. It is a world of free accounts. I'm talking about so many free accounts that the people who have to pay for it to get the most out of it really do get robbed. They truly do get robbed in the other league. However, in this one, because everyone is playing for free, there is less investment and more to gain from your investment. Choosing the right time controls to play, choosing the right mindset, working on your mental toughness, this is what it's all about. Not playing does not help you with your mental toughness in any way. So therefore, you should indeed just play chess. So in this particular position, what I failed to realize is that I do not have to take on F2 when the knight comes. I was going to take the queen. On Chesscom, your analysis is correct, but the problem with Liches is that there is no cop on the beat. OTB is the refuge. There is a cop on the beat. I feel like if I reported somebody for cheating, and it has occurred on stream, 
they do get banned. The unfortunate part is that if I report them on stream, I carry a certain amount of weight, so I have a heavy responsibility as to proving that these players are actually cheating or not. Most of the time, when I go back, I see that they're making mistakes. They're not playing a perfect game. If you run into someone who actually plays a perfect game through and through without a particular mistake, then you should report them. And you, we, are the cops on the beat. The fact that you are playing helps the entire community. There's no reason for you not to play. In fact, the problem would occur if you don't play. So by not playing, you're kind of letting me down because there's one less cop on the beat instead of the thousands of honest players on Lee Chess who are keeping an eye out. Now, I don't mind if you're taking a break for a different reason, but to take a break because you think people are cheating does not make sense to me at all. At all, at all, at all. And I do not know why I didn't take the free queen. I take the queen first. He finds this check. I find the natural move out, and I am in business. Now, for example, in any one of my games, right, my opponents could have had a better accuracy than me, especially in this game. My one blunder was hugely inaccurate, hugely inaccurate. In fact, my first move was probably inaccuracy. Oh, no, nope, it says I was just equal. All right, so C3 is coming along, everybody. C3 is coming along. Not too bad. So... Massachusetts Dojo is white. We have 31 games is white with C3 at the moment. We have our sum down there. And we're getting there. I'm enjoying C3 as white. The transpositional possibilities are endless. I see. Said. I see what you were saying, but as I said originally, it's impacting my mental health, and I have to step away to recompose myself. All right. True. But I'm not saying what I'm saying in order to get you to continue playing on Leeches. I'm saying what I'm saying in order to repair your mental health. I want you to be at peace with everything in the world because everything in the world is there for a reason. It's not there against you. Said. So long as the platforms are committed to strong and improving cheat detection, then I feel the cheat rate is manageable. And the platforms are doing the best they can. Great work, uh, uh, Harold Chu. Harold who? Harold who? But yeah, the, the platforms are doing all that they can, and we are a part of that uh, policing process. We're absolutely a part of the policing process of catching cheaters. If we have one less honest player in the pool, that's one less honest cop on the beat. And I'm not addressing this because of the fact that we need more honest players playing. That is true in itself. But the fact is that your mental health, our mental health, if I start to concern myself with it, if I overly put too much mental energy into thinking about anyone cheating, then it's going to compound and magnify the problem that I have with, with dealing with cheaters in chess. I honestly do not give them any mind. I do not give them any importance. I do not give them any worth. They are insignificant, and they will move along, and they will struggle to find a new email with which to open up a new account. And it's unfortunate that they are there, but they are not going to impact my mental well-being. It's almost like not leaving the house because you're worried about a school shooting or a terrorist attack or uh, not driving the car because you're concerned about getting into an accident. You know, I could not do any of those things, and I won't experience any toughness. However, what I am going to do is I am going to fix my mental health in a direction that I can realize that all of those things are a part of everything. So honestly, I am looking forward to OTB. I miss it from my teenage days. Okay. Sounds good, Lauren. But I do want your mental health to be at ease with the fact that there are things within our influence and our control 
And there are things that are outside our influence, outside our circle of influence, and outside our control. And in fact, much of the world, including time itself, is outside our vision, our, I'm, I'm sorry, our influence and our level of control. There are so many things, in fact, I'm reading a book called 4,000 Weeks about time management. And once you get comfortable with the concept that you're actually never ever going to truly be able to manage your time, once you understand that you're never ever going to have enough time to get to all of the things that you need to get to, just look at the books in this room. Alexa, turn on Master Chess. If I really thought mm -hmm that I could read every one of these books cover to cover. Cheetahs do dampen my day, however, my rating is tending to improve anyway with study and practice. Uh, right on, Harold. Basically, Geraldo, I think I like Geraldo better. Um, like Geraldo said, basically, if you are your strength, you are going to maintain your rating you will lose some random rating points that may or may not be recouped. But I lost those today. If we look at my games, for example, in the first round, I have a totally winning position. And I'm a piece up. And I perhaps played an opening, which was very difficult, got myself into a lot of trouble. In fact, I should have probably lost. But I consumed so much time, I'm down to a minute and 48 seconds, that in this particular position, I'm causing myself no end of consternation that I can survive this. In fact, somehow, in this particular position, right, I end up winning the exchange. Uh, how did I win the exchange earlier? I still don't understand how I won the exchange. So my opponent sacked this rook. Said. And then I just need to get you an example. I was playing a player who is rating points below me earlier today. I played into the Brea variation. This guy not only played theory down to move, but then made inaccuracies, mistakes, blunders. I zero accuracy, zero mistakes, and zero blunders. Now this is here on Lee Chess. I would love to see that game. So yes, here I had to actually play the move. Rook or King. And I was probably going to play King. But I ended up losing this game on time, plus six. But my rating will recover. You know? I went from 2088 down to 2079. And at the end of it all, I somehow managed to recover. Your account is deleted. So, from the chess perspective, we have three ways of getting out of check. And I want you to think about this. Yeah, you can't let it break your spirit that much, ironically. You said, I deleted everything online, chesscom, liches, everything. That's quite a spirit breaker, Lauren, quite a spirit breaker. I have an amazingly busy day of day one ahead of me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna to try to just bring this to a nice solid conclusion. And that is that you and I have three ways to get out of check, okay? We can block, which is the equivalent of swatting away things that are checking us, whether we block with a bishop, rook, knight, pawn, whatever. Usually when we're swatting away bishop to b4 check, we can use a pawn, go away. But closing everything and running away perhaps from check, you know, like literally removing yourself from check rather than fighting back, I want you to take it from a point of mental strength, not mental health. I want you to work on your mental strength, your mental toughness, because you are a stronger and better player than most of the players out there. I would have just reported that player and let them do the work. 
and then find out later if I'm right or if I'm wrong. It is possible that he used, if that, that's why I wanted to look at the game. It is possible that he might have used some assistance after the opening book. But many players are allowed to use opening books. I actually look upon this as correspondence chess, basically. You mail a move to your opponent, they mail a move back. You are allowed, to a certain extent, to a small certain extent, to use a written reference. So, uh, for example, I might give an outline of opening moves to the first few students. Basically, I'll just give them a three by five card. Remember, you're supposed to play the Ruy Lopez if you're white. Remember, you know, so I'll give them the first three moves of every opening just to remind them of what they are supposed to be doing. Now, they don't have to look at it more than once, usually, because then they'll remember the next time. But the fact that people use opening references, when I was uh, switching apartments many years ago, I noticed that most of the other players, when I stayed with other players, had opening book references and ECOs and stuff like that right next to them. Now, this meant that they could actually learn something about the opening, but it cost them a tremendous amount of time in the game in order to look at those opening references. And usually, and I almost guarantee you that because it was so many years ago, there were no computer assistants in my, in my growing up days. So I guess I grew up in a slightly healthier environment. I developed in a slightly healthier environment as far as not having to be concerned about cheating, other than the fact that, you know, I know one player, he had Gary Kasparov sitting next to him. He had Grandmaster sitting next to him. Every Russian Grandmaster that came through uh, New York would stay in his luxurious apartment in the city or wherever he lived, and he would play chess online and use their assistance. So therefore, when I went to play him, I'm like, wow, this guy's rating is so high. And he would not play me a rated game when they were not around. So I knew what he was up to, for the most part. Um, and therefore, I didn't mind at all that he didn't want to take my rating points, you know. But I would like to know who I'm playing against. If he did have another helper, it would be nice to know who I'm playing against, not unlike how you have hand and brain. But for the most part, let's not concern ourselves so much with the instability of our mental health let us concern ourselves more with our struggle toward mental toughness, mental determination, and asserting ourselves more greatly. Oh, no, Lauren, you are worth it. Honestly, you are more than worth it. In fact, all of you are more than worth it. Instead of, I really, I, the more you can, it's, thinking about cheating in chess is a lot like overly overly concentrating on on your mental health to the point that your mental health actually becomes an issue. Now, I agree that mental health is a very serious subject, and I want to shift it toward mental toughness, mental determination, and mental strength, because the stronger you are mentally, the more that you'll, the more assertively you'll be able to deal with your mental health situations. I, unfortunately, am not a doctor. I am not a psychologist, so I'm going to say that my advice is completely, completely off base for easily a great or certain percentage of you. Um, but at the same time, I would like to believe that I'm helping if you don't think about it. Let's just say if I concern myself that I didn't turn off the stove before I left the house and I continued thinking about it throughout the day that I didn't turn off the stove before I left the house, I could not live my life if every single day I, I did actually turn off the stove in the house. But because I had forgotten one time, I will live every day with that neuroses of never having turned off the stove in the house. And I am going to I am going to run this theory by mental health professionals as soon as I can because I want to follow up on this on this assertiveness track to see if it does work and if there is any proportion or percentage of it that does work I'll be able to say more accurately in the future that I am totally full of BS 
and you should worry about whether or not the stove is turned on for the rest of the day. You should worry about whether or not there are cheaters online all the time. But in general, I've noticed at the moment, and this happened to Martin, Magnus Carlsen, I believe that he actually broke down from classical chess for the same exact reason. Even if Hans Niemann was not cheating in that particular game, it was Magnus Carlsen's mental health that robbed him of that experience of, you know, I can't trust anyone anymore in reality. And it's a very serious subject because now once you let that little virus into your brain, the inception that that is planted inside of you that someone is cheating, it is going to eat away at any sort of confidence that you have. It's going to eat away at um, anyone's um, sensitive mental health. And then we are going to have a serious problem working forward, attempting to the best of our ability to just deal with situations going forward that we want to. I hope that you will be stronger as a person and assert yourself in all of your daily activities, okay? Thank you for the hydrate, Lauren. I know my voice is cracking up. I am going to be late to school, as it turns out. I don't think I have a choice in this matter, as it turns out. Said, ILLB fine, my therapist is paid to help me. Can you run my theory past them? That would be great. My, th my theory is that the stronger you assert yourself toward your concerns, said, sure thing. Bravo, guy. that is, trying to make assertive... Thank you so much. No, it's not really a cold. That is just my voice, bravo, guy. But thank you, and cheers. I'm just looking around here. Here's someone we haven't seen in a long time. I'm going to give him the nod. Please, everyone. And please enjoy Milan. He's an extremely strong player. He plays in the offer spiel events with me, or he has in the past. Um, I think that's it. As far as rating someone who's even larger, I could do that, but I'm going to give the nod to the young man here, as it turns out, as best I can. Uh, let's roll the ending credits for those of you who are um, in this particular instance. Bravo, guy. Said. My Fide rating is low, unfortunately. I would say that, unfortunately, my highest Fide rating was 2195. Which is really tragic and terrible. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a story behind my first VD rating being only 2195, and that was that I had to win the last round. I thought I had to win the last round game of an event to get a FIDE rating. But had I drawn it, apparently I would have had a 2200 FIDE rating. But I went all out to win, and I lost, and therefore... Because I lost, I had a 2195 feet rating when I was at my peak. All right, cheers and ciao, everyone. Thank you for following. Shahido, Orion Art, Pepe King, cheers and ciao. Thank you.